Wow, so far that wild sable eye has shown interest in three different kinds of rocks. The black ones, the tiny pebbles, and now that big one. Sable eye? <laughs> yeah, I just wish we had a better idea what all these rocks are. Hey, I think Pikachu found more rocks. Pika? Look at that. I wonder what kind of rock that is. Hey, I think that shiny part might be silver. Oh, this is exciting. This is new. I don't think we've seen Sableye curious about silver before. And Oh, no. What are we going to do now? How can we be sure the rock had silver in it now that it's broken? Let's give Sierra a call. She'll have some ideas on how we can figure this out. Hi, Sierra. Hi there. What's going on? Well, we're observing this wild sable eye and are trying to figure out what all these different rocks around us are. This is really important. Well, let's get to it then. What's the problem? Well, we found one that looked like it had silver in it. Okay, I'm with you. Max accidentally knocked over a boulder that crushed the rock and broke it into a bunch of pieces. But since it was smashed into tiny pieces, we're not sure if it's still the same thing. It probably doesn't have all the stuff that makes up silver, right? Actually, it is still silver. Really? Even though it looks like dust now? Sure. Silver is pure, just like all of the elements. You can break it up into tiny pieces, and it still has the same properties. So even this little piece is still just as much silver as what we started with? Yep. In fact... You can break up silver into the tiniest piece imaginable. And guess what? Still silver? You got it. So what's the tiniest piece imaginable? An atom. It's the smallest piece of an element. It's so small, you can't see it with your eyes. You need a special microscope. But there's more to atoms than just being small. Atoms can combine with each other to make different things. Like what? Like everything. Everything in the world is made of some combination of the elements. Take a look at this stream. Yeah? Water is made of a combination of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. When atoms come together, they form a compound. Uh, I don't know. That sounds weird to me. I don't see how everything could be made up of different combinations of the elements. But it's true. Even rocks. Even skateboards. Even food. Like a sandwich. Wow! And wait till you hear this. Even me! People are made up of different elements, too. We're made of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and a bunch of other elements. So, people often think there must be millions of different elements out there if they make up everything in the world. But actually... There's just a little more than a hundred. You're kidding. Nope. At last count, there were about 112 different elements. One for each kind of atom. Just 112, huh? I bet I could remember them all. Well, give it a try. Let's see. There's helium, aluminum, sodium, magnesium, titanium, chromium, beryllium. Oh, oh okay. Maybe I can't remember them all. Sounds like all the elements end in um. Actually, a lot of them do. But listen, you don't need to remember each element by name. It's only important to know a few things about them. Like what? First of all, most elements are found in nature. Like silver, there are 92 natural elements. That's almost all of the elements. Where did the rest come from? Scientists invented them in labs. <laughs> no way! Way! So, are a lot of the elements found in rocks like silver? Some are. Maybe you could tell us a little bit more about them. That might help us identify some of these rocks. Well, how about some practice? This is a picnic we had at the Learning League lab. And though it looks like your everyday picnic, we were surrounded by three different kinds of elements. Why don't you explore a little to see what you can find out? Click on something you think might be an element. That's a soda can made out of aluminum. Aluminum is one of the elements. But what type of element do you think it is? 
Drag it to the right category. Great! Aluminum is a metal, one of the three kinds of elements. Silver, gold, and a bunch of others are also metals. There are more metals than any other kind of element. Metals are usually solid, and they're often shiny too. Plus, metals are often found inside rocks. Actually, not the balloons so much. We really want to find out about the gas that's inside the balloons. Drag the balloons to the right category to find out about the element that's inside them. Great! There are other elements that aren't metals. They're called non-metals. Non-metals are mostly gases, like the helium gas inside a balloon. And the air that we breathe is a non-metal gas called oxygen. We couldn't survive without it. There's another non-metal we could not survive without. Carbon. It's one of the elements inside us. Carbon is found all over our bodies. And when we breathe, we breathe out a compound of carbon and oxygen called carbon dioxide. Okay, drag the rocks to the right category. Great! Almost every rock contains a semi-metal element called silicon. Silicon is hard and dark gray. It's found in clay and sand too. Semi-metals are a little like the metal elements in some ways and a little like non-metals in other ways. This is the smallest group of elements. Pretty cool. So there are metals, non-metals, and semi-metals. Yep, sounds like you've got it. Let's see if you can identify the elements in another example. You ready? Okay, we're going to play a game called Guess the Element. To start off, click on each thing to learn a little more about the main element it contains. Water is made up of two gases, hydrogen and oxygen. You need to find six things all together. Keep clicking. This glass is made with silicon, which belongs to the smallest group of elements. Salt is made of sodium, which belongs to the largest group of elements. Three more things to go. Cans are made of aluminum, which is shiny and solid. This charcoal is made of carbon, which isn't only found in rocks, it's found in us too. One more left. These coins are made of gold, which is found inside rocks. Now, some of the items on the table are going to light up one at a time. When one does, you'll have 10 seconds to guess if the element it contains is metal, non-metal, or semi-metal. If you're stumped, you can always click on it to read the clue again. Okay, ready, go! Aluminum. Yes. Sodium. Yes. Gold. Yes. Oxygen. Yes. Hydrogen. Yes, carbon. Yes, silicon. Yes, good job. So, now you know all about the elements. Thanks for all your help, Sierra. Sure thing. See you later. Bye. So, a little clumsiness paid off. We wouldn't have figured all this out if I hadn't smashed the rock with the silver. I guess you're right. Okay. Let's find some more rocks for Sableye. Sableye?
That's a soda can made out of aluminum. Aluminum is one of the elements. But what type of element do you think it is? Drag it to the right category. Oops! Not that one. It's this one. Oops! Not that one. It's this one. Oops! Sodium. Good job! So, now you know all about the elements. Thanks for all your help, Sierra! Sure thing! See you later!